scared me. Oh, sorry about that. Hey, I need your help. Go on. I have a project on Wendell Phillips, and do you know him? Wendell Phillips? Of course I know him. He led some movies on the biggest issues in America in the 19th century. Can you help me? I need to know everything. Just do your own research. Besides, you can't cite me as a source. I'll give you 20 bucks. You got a deal. Sit down, pencil, paper. Be ready. Pen, paper, copy seat. Go. You ready? Right. Here we go. Wendell Phillips. He led movements for anti-slavery and women's rights. He was really good at speaking. He was known as the gold chip of speaking. People loved him. He loved people. He was a great dude. He went, come on. You know nobody can understand you when you talk that fast. You know I have problems with talking fast. It's just I have so much time before this video gets too long before it shuts off. Wait, we're on a video? Okay. Wendell Phillips was a huge activist who quit law school to pursue these movements. He started with slavery. He would often talk about slavery and why it was bad at meetings for the American Anti-Slavery Society. People loved his speeches, so he was known as the golden trumpet of speeches at the society. He also briefly touched on women's rights, one example being at the World Anti-Slavery Convention, where the female delegates weren't allowed to sit in, but he convinced them through his speeches to otherwise let him. Back at home, he criticized Lincoln for taking too long to respond to the issues of slavery, so he wanted not to revote him into the White House. Okay, thanks. Along with slavery, he also fought for women's rights, something unusual because typically women fought for rights. But Phillips didn't care, and he helped out a lot. Some examples include helping Lucy Stone collect signatures to give women more rights, and joining the National Women's Rights Central Committee. He helped make ideas reality and eventually became the treasurer. Okay, great. A couple great. more things. Just know that because of his efforts, slavery is less of a thing anymore. Women have rights, and they'll be happy and free. And also know that people liked him because he was creative. His speeches were interesting, everything was done to its best, and if he went down, he didn't go down without a fight. Any questions? <sighs> okay, can you say that all again? I wasn't listening.